if you want to stay at the quintessential British country house hotel and have a cream tea or dinner, then you need to come on the quintessential British motorcycle, the Triumph Rocket 3. This is the Triumph Rocket 3R Black Edition, a limited edition of a thousand motorcycles. And we reviewed the Rocket 3R about a year and a half or so, maybe two years ago. And since then, riding around on this bike all day as I have today, my opinion of this bike has changed somewhat from my original thoughts. So watch the video all the way through to find out why. First of all, we'll go over a few facts and figures, get them out of the way before we go into what the bike's like to ride. Um, this produces 167 PS of power. Brake horsepower is just a tad under that number, so that's the number that's being used more these days, so we'll stick with it. And that peaks at 6,000 RPM, and it produces a massive 221 Newton meters of torque, which peaks at 4,000 RPM. That's 163 foot-pounds. But you feel that torque right from low revs, and it's a massively torquey, muscular machine. This is like the Mr. Olympia of motorcycles. It really is. The bike has a shaft drive with a single-sided swing arm along this side of the bike, which makes for changing the wheels easier because the wheel comes straight off that side. It has fully adjustable suspension, front and rear, so you've got rebound and compression adjustment so you can get the bike just the way you like it. You have an 18 litre fuel tank on this, which produces 40.4 miles per gallon or seven litres per 100 kilometres, which isn't at all bad considering the massive amount of power and torque this bike has. It weighs 291 kilos dry, that's the figure quoted. Um, so 18 litres of fuel. It's about 18 kilos and oils and what have you. So it's going to be over 300 kilos wet, which is heavy, but it carries its weight very low and very well. So apart from sort of shifting it around on your feet when you're maneuvering it in the garage or the car park, um, the weight isn't an issue. And sometimes these big heavy bikes give you that sense of um, security and stability and that's not a bad thing at all. So heavy bikes don't be put off by the weight. It's perfectly fine. It, it would be great with a reverse gear. It really would, um, but it's, it's perfectly all right. There's no doubting if you open up that throttle, this bike is quick. I mean, seriously quick. It does 0 to 96 kilometers per hour in 2.79 seconds. And that is fast uh, by anyone's standards. But saying that, conversely, if you're just burbling around and going along here, there and everywhere, it's very well mannered. So it's a real gentleman of a motorcycle. It really is. So you've got the best of both worlds with this. You can unleash the beast and go extremely fast if you want to, or you can just pop along and go normally without too much difficulty, but it has got a lot of power and torque. So obviously you can't just crank the throttle open all the time whenever you feel like it. You've got to be very respectful of that amount of torque and power, um, but it does allow you to ride normally as well as madly, depending on your mood. You've got four modes, which you select with your thumb on the left handlebar, road, rain, sport, and rider configurable. And with all this torque and power, 
you do need the rain mode, which uh, gives you more traction control and what have you. It's a good thing to have. Um, so I've been riding around quite a bit on wet roads today and the traction control works really well. So there was one bit of road where there was a lot of wet leaves on the road and it did kick in nicely uh, to stop the back wheel spinning up. And this back wheel is massive and wide and huge. So uh, it's no bad thing to have uh, a decent amount of uh, rider intervention in those sorts of situations. The wheelbase is 1,677 millimetres, which is nice and long. And long wheelbases give you lots of stability, which is great. The rake is 27.9 degrees and the trail is 134. And those three dimensions are the kind of um, handling dimensions, if you like. Um, and really, this bike realistically gives you the best of both worlds. It gives you lots of stability and it gives you good sharp steering which gives you nice nimble handling so for such a big bike it handles really well and it's very nimble you can twist and turn on this bike like a sports bike almost it really is very good so it's not like some of the raked out cruisers where the forks are like that and you get great stability but no cornering you've got the best of both worlds and really I think from my previous or my first encounter with this bike, I think they've got it right. And I didn't think so the first time round, but I didn't have long enough on it to really, really tell. And I was probably in my Harley Davidson heyday, uh, basing everything on sort of the, the geometry of the Harleys, um, which I do like, I must say, but really Triumphs are known for good handling and good handling is a subjective term too, isn't it? But they are known for sharp handling and good steering. So this, as I say, has that but it also has the stability so it's fun to chuck around on the country lanes and it's also fun to bowl along on the motorway at 100 miles per hour apparently we'll do 100 miles an hour um, we we did it on our private test track but you can do the national speed limits of your country effortlessly easily and very securely so this is palais hall hotel beautiful place my goodness me so I've stopped off here for a cream tea and they do lunches, dinners. Of course, they have rooms here which are exquisite. So this is a really nice place to ride out to if you've got something as nice as the Triumph Rocket 3. I'd highly recommend it. I've had a long ride on this bike today. I've been everywhere. And the sat nav took me down some roads that I wouldn't have chosen. Some very steep hills up and down. And they were covered in wet leaves and mud and poop and you name it, it was on the road. But the bike handled it okay, to be honest, um, despite all this torque and power. Um, it was perfectly okay. Not the ideal bike for those sort of conditions, but you can do it on this bike. Uh, and then some winding B roads and A roads. Uh, and motorways, so once you get onto the open roads, the windy stuff this bike likes actually, and it really is good. So you can um, give it some throttle and get on with it, and it really does respond nicely, and it will cruise along the motorway, no problems whatsoever. So the question is, is the Rocket 3R a cruiser? It's not particularly marketed by Triumph as a cruiser. I would define it as a muscle bike. It's unique really, there's nothing like it. So um, it kind of has its own category, if you like. Cruisers are kind of laid back, very talky at low RPM. And this is very talky at low RPM, but also you twist the throttle on this and it's like a sports bike. It really is very powerful. So it kind of is a bit of both. So if that makes it a cruiser or doesn't make it a cruiser, well, that's, that's what it is. I mean, you tell me what you think it is. But defining it is just putting it into a box. Really, the Triumph Rocket 3 is in its own category. It is a unique motorcycle and very good indeed. I must say, it is a very good looking motorcycle. It really is. I like these two round headlights at the front. Very nice indeed. Uh, 
double disc brakes, Brembo's of very good stopping power, big fat chunky tyres, beautifully designed alloy wheels. You've got your radiators here which sort of blend in nicely with the rest of the bike. Massive, massive engine. Three exhaust pipes, two exit this side and they sort of go together through the cat. One comes out this side. I can't get over how fat this back tyre is, it really is huge. You've got this number plate thingy here and there's a bit of an open area here so if it is wet and mucky you will get wet and mucky on your back. A small pillion seat, I wouldn't want to go far on that but it's okay for getting down the shops and back and the uh, foot pegs sort of nicely hide away which is good. The seat itself is very comfortable so no problems there. The riding position is nice so I've been riding all day and I feel perfectly comfortable on it and it really is good. You've got cruise control which is nice on the motorway so you can relax your throttle hand. So beautifully designed, well thought out, it's kind of futuristic yet at the same time there's some retro uh, vibes to it so you've kind of got the best of both worlds with this bike and turn up anywhere uh, like I did today at the Pala Hall Hotel and it sort of suits the place. You can go anywhere on this bike and it sort of blends in uh, and makes a big statement. I mean, everyone was talking about it, say, what is this bike? Well, you know, wow, it's amazing. So um, people are interested in it. And obviously, even if they're not motorcycle people, it, it does look special. So I can see why people would want to ask you questions about it. Uh, sad news today, our little, one of our little lambs died this morning. She's had uh, complications with her uh, bowel system and she lacked a anus. So she was pooping through her other hole. She's lasted five months, but uh, she's getting thinner and thinner. So a bit of a shame she's um, died today. But uh, we're gonna have to bury her now. height on this is 773 millimetres and I'm six foot two and I can get my feet nicely on the ground flat footed obviously it slopes up here so it's a bit deceiving it's not quite flat um, the riding position is like that which is comfortable it's a little leaning forwards for a cruiser but I'd say the seating position is very comfortable your feet aren't too um, behind you like some bikes so your knees are bent just more than 90 degrees but not too much so it's a nice riding position. The service intervals are every 10,000 miles or 16,000 kilometers or once a year whichever comes first and that's pretty good too. It is what it is it's unique and there's nothing like it really there isn't and it is exceedingly good and in the first review I did of it I liked it I did like it, but now I've had a, another day on the bike. I love it. It really is a very good bike. I could be happy owning one of these. I really could. Uh, the only downside to living here in Wales with all these narrow, wet, muddy lanes everywhere is it's not ideal for that. So from that only from that point of view, I wouldn't buy it. But if I lived anywhere else that didn't have masses and masses and miles of uh, little tiny lanes, it would be a wonderful bike to have, it really is, it's very impressive. Wherever you go, people look at it, it looks fantastic. It's a shame we have all these regulations in terms of, I mean, I, I do agree that we need to do something for the environment massively, massively. But 
the emissions stifle the bike and make it a little bit too quiet. So it'd be nice if you could hear it more. I'm sure there's plenty of aftermarket exhausts for this. I, I haven't researched that side of things. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, it is important for channels like ours to have more subscribers because if we ask a manufacturer uh, whether we can review their bike or not, that's the first thing they look at. So it does help us out. Um, some people think, well, it doesn't matter how many you've got, but it is important. Um, so please like, comment, let us know what you think of the um, Triumph. It's a wonderful looking motorcycle, I think, and it rides beautifully. Uh, we'd like to know what you think. If you've got one, make a comment. If you're thinking of getting one, ask a question and we'll endeavour to answer it. Um, if you want to support the channel, please look at our Buy Me A Coffee page and you can also buy some of our merch, which is uh, shown below. And there's more uh, if you click the links. It takes you to the uh, spring page. We've got hoodies, t-shirts, all sorts of things, all uniquely designed and not available anywhere else. Warm me up a bit. It's absolutely freezing out there. Um, they have a casual dining in the Huntsman. Um, looks fantastic, reasonably good prices for such a nice place. And then you've got the fine dining in a different room. Five courses, eight courses, wonderful menus. So have a look on the website. I'll put the link in, in the description. And it's always nice to have somewhere to ride to. Not everyone wants to go to a roadside cafe. So somewhere like this would be absolutely spot on.